How's it going? I'm George Weiner, the Chief Whaler of Whole Whale, and we have got such a gift for you. We have got a walkthrough of our Data Studio template for nonprofits. It's the ultimate dashboard. Our team literally went through page after page and designed each individual piece. And guess what? You can steal it and just put your logo on it and connect it to your data. We want to make sure you understand all the parts of it, though, so you can really properly steal slash use it uh, for your organization. So we're going to walk through each one of these points for you so you understand how to use this free template. I hope you enjoy it. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a copy of this template, which you can do right up here. And when you click make a copy, if you haven't already agreed to their terms and conditions, you're going to want to do that. And then it's going to have you connect your data sources here. So for this template, you're going to want to connect your Google Analytics data and your Google Ads data if you have that as well. One thing that might pop up when you try and connect your data sources is that Google will tell you one or more of the data sources used in this report is not attached. Don't worry about it. Just click maybe later and proceed to the report. Once you do that, this edit button will appear, which will allow you to change this template however you want, change the colors, change the logo to tailor it for your organization. On the first page, we have a big overview of your website data. So all of these metrics are just big overview metrics like sessions, users, goal completions. You can also change this view by source. So looking at the source of traffic and you can select the date range you want to look at up here. Now, if you don't like these colors or you want pages per session instead of bounce rate, for example, what you'd want to do is click on the widget itself. So click edit and then click on the widget you'd want to change. And over here, a bar will come up with the data. So you can change whatever data you want to find the available field. You can change the data source if you wanted to do that. And then another exciting thing is you could also add a segment. So if you want to change, let's say make another copy of this template and look at a specific type of traffic on your website, you could create segments in each of these widgets and just like you would in Google Analytics and look at a very specific type of user. So you wish. Now, if you wanted to change the colors, you could click on the style tab and from there change whatever colors you like for your organization. On the second page of this template, it's focused on audience. So who your website audience is, you can see the gender breakdown, device breakdown, what their interests are, take this with a grain of salt, it's Google's best guesses, age breakdown and geography breakdown. And again, just like every other page on this template, you can click the edit button and change the widgets data style, however you wish. One thing also that is worth mentioning is down here at the bottom, we have some tips just in case you're having any trouble with this template. So for example, if your demographic data isn't showing up here, it might be because it's not enabled in Google Analytics, and this will tell you exactly how to do that. We also have some tips on how to use this data to get even more out of this template. So pay attention to those pro tips at the bottom as well. And then on this page, we have our Google Ads data. So that's why it's really important to connect to not only your Google Analytics data, but also your Google Ads data if you have that grant. And here you'll be able to see a big overview of how that grant is performing. So looking at the total ad spend for your date range, this one might be worthwhile looking at per month since the grant is allocated per month. So you can see how far along you are. You can see daily spending, if there are any dips, top landing pages people are going to from your ad grant top search keywords and what campaigns are doing the best. On this page, we're talking about SEO, so focusing on organic traffic. So you'll be able to see how your organic searches stack up against all of the other sessions on your website, what the top organic landing pages are, what the top keywords are people are searching for in order to get to your website and what people are interested in based on their searches when they're already on your website. And then on the final page, we're talking social. So here, all of these widgets have already been segmented to look at social traffic specifically. So you'll be able to see session duration, bounce rate, 
the top social networks sending traffic, the day of the week that's most popular for social, and when social users are most active on your website. So again, we have some pro tips down here about campaign tagging, which is super important for social. And you might wanna use this in terms of, you know, the day of week and, and time of day to figure out when you wanna be messaging your users on social media. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today uh, to talk about dashboards, which we love, and Data Studio. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below. You look at those things or tweet us at Whole Whale. Look, if you like what you saw also, uh, and you want to get it a little deeper with Whole Whale, you know, visit wholewhale.com. Yep, wholewhale.com, that's where you find us. Bye.